Welcome to the How to Play for Noob, the addictive color matching game with a whole new twist. Shuffle the cards thoroughly and deal out seven cards each. Then place the remainder of the deck face down in the center to form the draw pile. Turn over the top card to start the discard pile. Unlike some other card games, the aim of Noob is to hold on to your cards. The last player with cards remaining in their hand wins. The player to the left of the dealer goes first. This is a color matching game, so it's a good idea to count how many of each color you have in your hand before you start, as shown now. Look at the card on top of the discard pile and assess whether or not you have to discard any cards. The number on the card tells you how many cards you must discard, one, two, or three. The numbers do not mean anything else in this game. The colors on the card tell you what color cards you must discard. Some have one color, some have two, and some have all four colors. Here is an example turn. The top card has a two on it and is colored green and orange. Check your hand to see if you have two cards with green on them or two cards with orange on them. If you do, discard either two orange cards or two green cards. If you have more than the required cards, you can choose which ones to discard. Place the cards on the discard pile. Bear in mind, whichever card is on top dictates the options for the next player so you might want to leave a three on top near the start of the game. Only discard if you have the required number of either color in your hand. For example, you do not have to discard if you have only one orange and one green. If you don't have the required cards, you can now pick up a card from the draw pile. If the card you pick up means you complete the set you couldn't before, you must discard the required cards. If you still can't discard after drawing a new card, just shout nope. Your turn is over and play continues. Watch out for wild cards. They are treated as standard color cards, but they contain all the colors. They can complete any color set and often force you into discarding cards on your turn. If a wild card is on top of the discard pile on your turn, simply discard a single card from your hand. There are three action cards in Nope. The colors on these cards do count towards sets. However, you can play them on their own instead of discarding a set of cards on your turn. Play a reset card on its own to immediately end your turn. The next player must then play any single card. Play an invisible card on its own, then the next player plays as normal, except they refer to the card underneath the invisible card. If revealed as the first card, the next player simply plays a single card matching the color. Play a nominate card, then nominate any other player to go next, you must also declare how many cards of that color that player must discard. One, two, or three. After the nominee has taken their turn, play continues on from them. If the nominated player can't play, they pick up a card as normal. Action cards with one color can only be played on top of cards with a matching color. Multicolor action cards can be played on any card. And that's it. Remember to share your best nope moments using the hashtag nope card game.